Hello everyone and welcome to the top 10 most expensive horse games. I will disclaim that some of the games are not exclusively horse games and I will not include games like Wild Shade or Equestria in the game as they don't have a subscription or a one-off purchase of the game, only in-app purchases. Let me know in the comments if this list shocks you and what game you think is the best value for money. Also, I'll be working in three currencies, pounds, euros, and dollars. So let's jump into it. At number 10, we have that horse game for two pounds, two euros, or three dollars. That horse game is an indie game being developed by Mindev Games and her small team. This game runs on Unreal Engine 5 and you can really tell. If you love Red Dead graphics but can't afford the game, this might just be for you. It's still a work in progress, but they are very active on their social media where you can find all of the updates and behind the scenes. Now there is a free version, but for only £2 in a month you can have access to the most up-to-date version of the game, plus polls that help the team to decide what their next move is. This game is stunning, perfect for relaxing trail rides and photos. At number 9, we have Tales of Rain Ravine for £3, €3 Euros, or $4. Tales of Rain Ravine is a work in progress indie game by Dark Rider Siri on Instagram, aka Siri on YouTube. This game boasts some of the best controls ever seen in horse games. While the game is unfinished, there are still guided lessons that act as tutorials which teach you how to control your horse, and even a realistic jumping mode where you have to time your jumps with the correct stride or your horse will refuse. There are also competitions you can do, different horses with wildly different skills and personalities to choose from. Currently, it does not have an open world aspect, but it is still in the very early stages. The only downside is that the game does include swearing. You can get access to it by going onto the Tales of Rain Ravine Patreon for only £2 a month. If you do stop paying, you will still have access to the game, you just won't be able to get any of the newest updates. At number 8, we have Minecraft for £24.99, €29.99 or $26.95. I am fully aware that Minecraft isn't a horse game, but it is a sandbox which means you can essentially turn it into a horse game. I actually have a whole video on the mods you can get to make it into a sandbox horse game, and I will be releasing a survival server called Pinecraft Equestrian very soon, discord link in the description. Minecraft was first released in 2011 and absolutely blew up over the years. It was then bought by Microsoft, which then made it so that when you buy Minecraft, you get both Bedrock and Java, which did increase the price slightly. Minecraft as a base game is easy to run on most computers and laptops, including Macs, and Pocket Edition can be found for mobile. Whilst not the most graphically intense or realistic in gameplay, you can turn it into whatever you want. So for only £25, that is an absolute steal. At number 7, we have Horse Club Adventures for £24.99, €29.99 and $39.99. Horse Club Adventures is a game by Schleich, yes, the company that makes animal figurines. It was originally only on the Switch, but now you can get it on Steam for the PC as well. It's your bog standard horsey girl game, bright colours, hoof picking mini games, outfit customization, races, and quests with talking, running around, and talking again. This game is actually set in an open world with hidden secrets and side quests. If you're a fan of Barbie Horse Adventures, then this game might give you a similar feeling. While this game is not exactly cheap, if you are looking for a few dozen hours worth of riding, questing, and unlocking a cute cartoony world, then this fits the bill. Be aware though that some reviews have said that the story is pretty lacklustre, so do keep that in mind. At number 6, we have Spirit Lucky's Big Adventure for £24.99, €29.99 and $39.99. Based on DreamWorks Spirit Riding Free and Spirit Untamed, this game was developed by a heart full of games and published by Outright Games. 
It's available on console as well as PC, and you can find the PC version on Steam. I was actually invited to play the pre-release of the game, and you can find that video up top. It was a little bit awkward because the game is not optimized for mouse and keyboard use, and most of the time it's button mashing to try and find the right key. As a game, it's similar to Horse Club Adventures, it's open world, has quests, and the art style is cartoony. You can't change your character from Lucky or your horse from Spirit, but you can customize Lucky's outfits as you unlock them. The storyline is pretty on rails, the map is pretty samey, horse care is limited, and sometimes the gameplay can just be too simple. However, I will say that the climbing portions of the game are pretty fun, when the camera angles let you see what you're doing. Overall, if you're a fan of this game and it's on sale, I recommend getting it to try out. Number 5, we have Rival Stars Desktop for £34.99, €39.99 and $39.99. Weirdly, this game is least expensive when you buy in dollars compared to both pounds and euros. It was developed by Pickpock Games and was originally a mobile game before they brought us a desktop edition. You can play Rival Stars for free on mobile, but there are in-app purchases and you can't earn premium currency, plus you can't create custom horses. On PC, you can get Rival Stars Desktop on Steam and there are no in-app purchases. Personally, I much prefer the Desktop Edition, despite the high price. The game is graphically gorgeous and the horses are strikingly realistic as they were motion captured, aka mocapped in real life. The game has a bit of a mobile feel sometimes, as it is mostly menu based with the races being in 3D. The quests can be a bit repetitive sometimes and it is a bit of a waiting game, but what's nice is that you can earn gold even when you're not in the game with the homestead. You can race breed, train and upgrade in the game. They recently added a pasture to send the horses you dearly love but can't race to go and chill out. They also are in the process of implementing a cross-country jumping with jumping and agility skills, but currently there is no competitive race or storyline. Something to note is that desktop is sometimes months behind mobile in updates, which can be quite frustrating. The price tag is also a lot more dear than in most games, but in my opinion, I really enjoyed the game and it got very addictive in a good way. If you don't want to fork out 30 quid for a game, my advice is to wait for the sale because it is definitely worth it. At number 4, we have the Sims 3 Plus Pets Expansion Pack, which comes to 35.98 across both pounds, euros and dollars. The Sims 3 is a very well-known game released in 2009 by EA. Now that sounds like a very long time ago, then perhaps you've heard or played The Sims 4, which was released in 2014 and looks a lot more up to date. However, The Sims 4 never got a pack that included horses like Sims 3 did. The Sims 3 Pets pack includes, well, pets for your Sims, like dogs, cats, birds, horses, and terrarium animals. With this being The Sims, aka a simulation game, you can do a wide variety of things with your horses. You can get your Sims to ride them, train them, compete them, and breed them. Horses can also be controlled if you wish. In Sims 3, you can build your own custom lots with arenas, barns, paddocks, and anything your horsey heart desires. The best thing about having The Sims is the millions of CC, or custom content, that you can get for free. You can pose your horses, play with them in real time, customize them to your heart's desire, and I mean literally, you will end up spending hours doing this. Now you might think that the price tag is a little high, but trust me when I say you get far more than just a running around horse game. You can literally simulate most aspects of real life and the cherry on top is that it includes horses too. Despite the outdated graphics, in my opinion, The Sims 3 is the best of The Sims games and is completely worth every penny. At number 3, we have Red Dead Redemption 2 for £54.99, €59.99 and $59.99. 
Right, you lot, get your angry typing out of my comments. I already know that Red Dead Redemption 2 isn't a horse game, but that isn't going to stop me from putting it in. This game is an 80 plus and comes with a high price tag, gore, swearing, and some very heavy themes, including horse death. But this is one of the most realistic horse games you will probably ever find. Just like Rival Stars, the horses were mo-capped and meticulously coloured and shaded and coded. They are the closest thing to real horses you can get. Horses are not just transport, they can spook at wild animals, they can be bonded with, they can kick you off if you don't treat them well. These horses are alive, like most of this game is. There are a total of 24 breeds of horses in the game, and each breed has multiple coats to choose from. Every horse is unique, and can be found or stolen in a unique way. Now sadly, just 4 years after release, Rockstar has announced that no new content will come to Red Dead Online, which has made many of the community turn away from that game mode. You can get Red Dead Online as a standalone for £18, but I generally wouldn't recommend it, as it has its own premium currency that costs more money and it doesn't come with story mode. Story mode is what you really want, with hundreds of hours of gameplay, an honour and dishonour system, hunting, stealing, missions, exploring and so much more included. While this is a pretty hefty price tag of over £50, I can personally 100% recommend this game to any over 18 as even after you finish the story, it has a lot of replayability, you can mod it to your heart's content, and the base game also comes with online if you really want it. You can find Red Dead Redemption on Steam, Epic Games, or the Rockstar Launcher. At number 2, we have Star Sable Lifetime at £56, €65 and $65. Yep, Star Stable Online comes in a whopping second place in the most expensive horse games. You can play for free until level 5, but after that you don't really have much of a game. You can choose to buy a monthly or tri-monthly subscription, but if you are looking to play long term, Lifetime will most likely be the best option financially. First released in 2012, this game originally had a very small team and community which has grown exponentially over the years. This game is aimed at preteen girls specifically, but many ages can enjoy the game. One of the major controversies is that SSO claims to be an MMORPG, however does not allow players to be represented by a male or even non-binary character. It can be quite inconsistent with its graphic style as many areas are still being updated and sometimes the animation quality differs greatly between NPCs, horses and players. There are currently 465 horses available to purchase with premium currency star coins and some are only available to purchase from their mobile app, Star Stable Horses. The game itself can be quite enjoyable at the beginning, but it does get repetitive pretty quickly as it can be boiled down to talking, running, collecting and racing. But there is a large open world map to explore, a big community to meet and talk with online, and lots of items to buy. The hefty price tag would be worth it if many people didn't find themselves spending hundreds extra on premium currency to get the latest horses, tack and clothes. Overall, it's an enjoyable game if you have cash that you otherwise might have put in a blender. The number one most expensive horse game is Horse Riding Tales VIP Pass. The VIP Pass on Horse Riding Tales costs $89.99. That's equivalent to £75.58 or €79.34. This is genuinely an insane amount of money for what is arguably a really mediocre game. You could purchase Red Dead and Minecraft for a similar price. Horse Riding Tales is a game by Foxy Ventures and can be found both for free on mobile and PC. While you can play the game without the pass, you can, and I quote, explore beyond the town, jump in the field, 
get three stable hands and mine 60% faster. All this for just $80? What a steal. Literally. They are stealing your money. This pass doesn't even come with premium currency and only comes with two special horses. The premium currency costs a similarly ridiculous amount of money. Now, I'm not here to diss anybody who likes this game. It's genuinely a cute and grindy game when you play it for free. But I do have to say that $80 is ridiculous for this incredibly average game. While this is number one on the expenses list, this is the only game that I will actively discourage you from spending money on. By all means, download it, play it, have fun, but look at other games on this list, even Star Stable, if you really want to spend money on a horse game. Funnily enough, I go more into detail about this game in my top 10 free horses game video. So saying that, keep playing for free. And that is the end of my top 10 most expensive horse game video. Did I miss any and which games do you like playing the most? Let me know down below. So I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye!